Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. Today I filmed a chit chat get ready with me. I was just really having a bad day, so I wanted to just get ready with you guys and just kind of vent a little bit. So sorry if this comes off a little complainy and annoying, <laughs> but I hope that you like it anyway. And if you guys want to get ready with me, then keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start out by using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Tiki in my crease. So that is like a really light nude color. I'm definitely having one of those days where just like everything is going wrong and it's just like a bunch of little things, you know, that just make you wanna like break down and cry and like curl up in a ball and not do anything at all. Today I had like a full schedule. I was so excited to get started. I had to go and work and do some retail for a little bit and I was like this is great because I was going in super early I wanted to go in super early so that I could get home by like 11 and still have a full day like just to do everything that I wanted to do and I was just like feeling really great this morning and I feel like that's always when I crash like it's always when I'm feeling like the best like when I start out doing like really great it's just like bound to happen so I got home from work I was editing my picture and I turned on the oven so that I can heat up some chicken to have on a salad. I really just wanted to eat like shit. Like I wanted to go to Taco Bell. I was like, don't do it. Like you're in a good mood, like everything's good. Just like stay in this mood. So I edited my picture. The chicken was done, ate my salad, put my hot sauce on there. I had two um, hard boiled eggs on there too, chopped them up. It was like a really healthy lunch. And I just got in this really bad mood after. Okay. so. That's not completely true. So I think I know what happened, what started like taking on a downhill spiral. So the doorbell rang and this bikini came in from, uh, this This company isn't like a, like a super well-known company or anything. I found them on Instagram and I thought their bikinis were really cute. And I have a really hard time with bikinis. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Like I'm 5'3", so I'm very short. And I wouldn't say that I have like big hips or anything but I have a big butt and like big butt for my proportion so I always have to get like a medium for the bottom and even sometimes I'll do a large so that I can make it more like high-waisted and make myself look taller and I'm usually like a small for the top but I always have issues because I feel like the bottoms like always because my butt's bigger for my body I feel like it just like squeezes me in the wrong way and gives me love handles or it squeezes on my butt and like gives me that double like butt cheek <laughs> So I got a medium in this size, looked at reviews, everything looked good. So I was like, this is great. And the bikini was so cute. It was like a push up kind of top and the bottom was like strings on the side. And it was just like, I don't know, it was really cute. You know what, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the top, super cute, right? It's like a push up. Like this is like flimsy here, but it has like an underwire. It's just really cute. So that's the top and these are the bottoms. Super cute, right? But it just, the top looked weird on me. Like it was like squeezing on my like rib cage area. And I have like really like defined abs, like naturally, like I'm not trying to like be all weird about it, but it's like, it's also something I used to be really self-conscious of growing up. Cause I just like, I feel like I'm very muscly for like a woman. So I have to do like yoga and like slimming exercises so that I don't get like stocky because I'm only 5'3", like I said. So yeah, the top was all weird and then the bottom was like really low rise and it didn't look that way in the pictures. Like it just, it annoys me so much when things just don't look the right way, but like it, I don't know. <sighs> Everyone's body's different. So it's hard to go based off of pictures and reviews and things like that because like not everyone's style is the same either. Like I always look for things that are, that are more of like a high rise or that I can make into more of like a high leg like bikini bottom or jeans, any kind of bottom really. I try to make it like a high leg to make myself look taller. But that just put me in a bad mood. Like it was just such a bust. I hate that, I hate that feeling when I get so excited about a bikini. And also I've been trying to order this one from Pretty Little Thing for like two weeks now and it keeps declining my payment. And I'm like, I know it's not my card. I have plenty of money in the bank. Like it's not, it's not my card. So I don't know what the hell's going on. And then I kept like telling myself, well, you know, maybe it's just not meant to happen. You know, when like something like a payment like doesn't go through or like just something's like not working out. It's like, okay, well maybe I'm like not meant to have it. Like it's whatever, like maybe it's a shitty bikini anyway, you know? 
I don't know. <laughs> but I keep like trying. I keep like talking myself out of it. And then I'll go back and try again and just be in a bad mood. And I'm like, why is this not working? Like, I tried it on my iPad. I tried it on my phone. I tried it on this other iPad that's like a million years old. I don't know what's going on. And then my one Instagram post wasn't doing well today. And like, this is first world problems. I'm totally aware. But it's just when you work really hard on something, it just sucks to see it not do as well as you thought it would. And obviously that happens. It happens just all the time on Instagram. Instagram's very like flighty when it comes to things doing well. Like, I post at the same time every single day, but it just has to do with who's actually online at that time. And Instagram's always switching up the algorithm. So sometimes it, it pops up in people's pages, sometimes it doesn't. Or it might just have been a character that I thought, you know, would do really well, but it doesn't really resonate with other people. It, it's a mixture of a lot of things, I'm sure, you know? But it just, like, on top of my already bad mood, it just, like, ugh just made it worse, you know? And I received a few hate comments, and it's just like, it's always from the people, like, you'll click, click on their profile, and it's always like, they have like, the wonkiest, like, eyeliner and eyelashes imaginable, and then they have like, an inspirational quote as their bio, and it's like, get it together. I just really don't understand, like, writing a negative comment on someone's stuff. Like, I don't think I've ever wrote anything bad about somebody else's photo. Like, I just, like, can't even, I can't even fathom it. Like, if it's something that you're not crazy about, like, don't even click on it. Like, I, and a lot of people have the excuse, well, you popped up in my explore page. Well, you still don't have to click on it. Like, you're still scrolling, and if it's something that you, that you don't think you're gonna like, don't click on it. And anyway, by clicking on it, you're just gonna see more posts from me anyway. It's just like, ugh. But I think the thing that most people don't realize is that you're actually promoting that post by commenting on it. It's showing to now all of your followers and it's just promoting the growth of the post in general, which it's like, you're helping me out by commenting on this, whether you're writing a negative comment or not. It's just, it works the same on YouTube as well with like likes and dislikes. Even if you dislike this video, it still shows that there's interaction with the post or the video so you're actually promoting it by being negative so I mean it just it's kind of like a win-win for me you know okay to like slightly change the topic this was another thing that put me in a bad mood today was that I okay so I ordered this calendar from Amazon and it's just like a week calendar like a week-long calendar and I figured that would help me out because if I see like a big calendar of all this stuff, I just get overwhelmed and then I wind up not doing anything. So I figured like if it was just a week, it would help me be more organized. That way I can fully lay everything out, like literally start getting into like increments, like by the hour almost, or every like three hours have like something posted, like a cartoon. And I want to have like a chore each day so that I feel fulfilled in that way, like something to do around the house too. And then I want to have like what I'm going to eat and I want to have like a breakdown of exercises between like videos or between like a cartoon look just so that I'm like really regimented because I feel like with my depression, I feel like it might help me feel more fulfilled and get more things done when I'm able to cross something off of the list. It might just, I don't know, just make me make me feel better and also I get to see everything I'm a very visual person so I like to see everything mapped out like what I need to do exactly and I don't know I just I thought that would help me so I ordered the calendar and I really should have planned it out Sunday night for my entire week but I did it Monday morning and I half-assed it and I pretty much just wrote like the week out how I'm doing it now like pretty much just like a cartoon look, a creative look, and try to fit a video in. Literally, that's what like every single day says. And I'm like, this, why did I even get this calendar? I just started getting really upset with myself. Cause it's like, why can we not force ourselves to do the things that we know will help us out? And like I've said on here plenty of times, when you know you need to do something, just do it. Don't even allow your brain to think about it first because that's when it's gonna trip you up and you're not gonna do it. But that's why I thought that the calendar would help me out. I don't know. In my mind, I was like, okay, well, this would be great because then I literally just have to see it and just do it. Like, I'll just set an alarm clock for that exact time that's on the calendar for when I need to go into something and then just do it. 
and I'm not even taking advantage of it. It's just like, what an idiot, you know? And also in every video now, I feel like I'm focusing on the amount of times that I say like and you know, and I'm driving myself nuts. It just, if you wanna be very annoyed with yourself and hyper aware of all the annoying things that you do, start filming yourself because it's real. You start thinking like, wow, why does anyone even wanna spend any time with me at all? I feel like I'm also very unrealistic with goals that I set for myself. Like we're going away to Mexico in May, March, April, May, yeah, May. And I've never been there before, so I'm so excited about it. But also, I wanna be really in shape. I feel like every summer, I say that I'm gonna get in shape like all throughout the winter and I'm gonna look like the best I've ever looked in the summertime. And it's always like a week before I need to go is when I'm like, I'm on it, you know? And then I start working out for like a week and obviously you're not gonna get anywhere within a week. And I really wanna break that. I think what it is is, like I said, my goals are too big. Like I'm like, I'm gonna do yoga every single day. I'm gonna work out every single day for an hour. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be in the best shape ever. And it's like, that's just not realistic. I think if I were to say that I would do yoga like four days a week, I think that's more realistic. And I'll probably wind up sticking to that more than I would by saying that I'm gonna do something every single day. But also the thing that annoys me is that I know that it's possible. Literally, if I wanted to work out every single day, I could plan that in. If I was a planner, if I could get to onto this fucking planning thing, I could literally do it every day. I just need to be more regimented. And it's just, it's so frustrating. Like get it together. And I listen to a lot of inspirational speakers, a lot of videos and a lot of audiobooks. And I find that when I'm in this mood, it actually makes me in a worse mood to listen to them because it just, I don't know what it is. There was, there was um, a compilation that I was watching on YouTube, like a compilation of a bunch of different motivational speakers. And there was one where Arnold Schwarzenegger was on. They did like a clip of him for like 15 minutes talking. And actually Arnold's very inspirational. He's like crazy. But he was saying how he only like sleeps like five or six hours a day or something. And like when he was starting out, he was taking acting lessons. Then he was like going and taking karate lessons and then working out in the gym for like three hours. And then like going to do a movie and like going to do, I'm like, what the? And he like had a plan for like to spend time with his family too. Like he like literally blocked out his entire day, like in increments. Like it was just like, that's how it was. I just wish that I could be like that. And I know that you can teach yourself to be that way. There are obviously there's skills that you can learn. Like anyone can do anything and I strongly believe that. I just wish that I could get over my bullshit and just fucking do it. I think they say if you do something every single day for, how many days is that? Let me, wait, let me put this eyelash on before I look that up. Okay, so it says on average, it takes more than two months before a new behavior becomes automatic. 66 days to be exact. It's very exact. <laughs> what? And then it says it took anywhere from 18 days to 254 days for people to form a new habit. Wait, what? So which one is it? Is it 66 days or 254 days? So I guess like it says it depends on discipline, but I hope that mine doesn't take 264 days. It would be kind of fun to vlog that, like doing something every single day, like doing the thing that I want to become a habit every single day for 66 days. But it's like, who would watch that? And would I have the consistency to like film that every single day? I think that's the real question. But do you ever just sit and wonder if you're actually really depressed or if you're just really lazy? Also, I need to get better at just cleaning up my area in here. I think that really hurts my drive to do things. I don't know, when you have like a messy work area, it just, I feel like it just puts me in a really cluttered mood. Cluttered mood, I don't even know how to explain it. But literally like my paint, like, I wish that you guys could see this cause it's just like a disaster. Like I have my paint brushes all over the place. My mat here, like I have like a, a plastic mat that I have here because I glue a lot of things down and I don't like getting that on like my actual countertop here. Um, so that's just filled and encrusted with paint. So every time I like need to go like look in my mirror over here and put my elbow down, it's like there's paint on my elbow and then there's like, I'll put my, my finger in something over here and then that's paint and then I'll go to wipe my face and then it's on my face. It's just very chaotic. 
Also, I forgot to tell you guys about this blue line in my forehead, so if you keep staring at that, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. It's not showing in my monitor, but if you're watching it on like a bigger screen, there's like a blue streak right here. There's this blue paint that I use by Wolf FX. It's this guy actually here because I'm so messy. It's actually on my desk. Um, but this is by Wolf FX and this is, why does it say white on the bottom? That's weird. Um, but this is like my aqua color. For some reason, this one always, it always stains me. I don't know what it is. Like blacks don't stain me, nothing. It's always blue. What is that? It's like a, it's, it's weird because they're actually, there's like a scientific explanation for it that some colors, depending on your chemical makeup, will stain you. And it's really, really strange. Um, yeah, I don't even know why I explained that. But just in case you were looking at that, I tried caking it up with some foundation. So if you were like, why is your forehead so cakey? That's why also. And I forgot to put foundation on my neck, so my neck's not matching my face. And <sighs> that's what kind of day it is. So let me just do my hair and I'll be right back. While I was waiting for my straightener to heat up, I figured I would go down and fold some laundry just to like make myself feel better. So I go down, fold the laundry, come back up, go to straighten my hair and notice that I just plugged it in and didn't turn it on. The universe is punishing me guys. <laughs> but I hope that you guys liked this video even though I just complained the entire time and I feel like I've worn this shirt in like the last five makeup tutorials, but like who, who really changes their shirt every day? Like I, I feel like I wear like the same shirt for like an entire week before I even put it in the laundry. Does anyone else do that or am I just really gross? I don't know. But I feel like it's always like the big, the big t-shirts that I just wear around the house and I'll just keep wearing it over and over again. It's not like I'm wearing it out. I mean, sometimes I do do that too, so I don't know. <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.